Doris, hey. Hi, babes. How you doing? Good morning. Happy day. Happy day. Not good morning. Taurus, let me be honest. It's 3.42 in the afternoon, baby. I'm doing y'all a bonus read. Uh, remember, not one size fits all on this channel. Taurus, someone is like letting someone get in their ear. There's someone that you are that you are connecting with that you actually like. And they got people in their ear. Remember, not one size fits all on this channel, babe. I feel like I need to get this message out to her, so I might not be laughing much, but um someone here, yeah, pride. Someone here is too prideful. Yeah, they're going to fail with this. Like, let him, these people, there's people in their ear. Surrender. Taurus, whatever this is, let it go. Spirit's going to bring it right back to you. This person's going to come right back to you. Because there's some phony-ass people around them that's putting in their ear that you and this person are not meant to be together. So you got somebody hitting on your connection. What's going on, Spirit? Netflix and chill. So there's people that's actually trying to bring... So this person's so prideful, they can't be anything different around their friends or family or siblings or, I, I don't know, ex-lovers. Let this go, Taurus, from here and there. Hold on, failure. For Taurus. Yeah, dating. They're going to fail at anybody they fucking date listening to these people. Taurus, I'm making this shit up, okay? Somebody allows their friends or somebody unemployed, broke, fired, living beyond their means. Forgive them, Taurus. They're trying to live. With, they, they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Spiritual attack. Not knowing that these people around them, they just surrender to the divine because there's people around them that ain't good for them. So they basically have this person like basically out eating off of uh, eating scraps and crumbs from people that are not good for them. Okay. The f um, Taurus, my bad. <laughs> let me get some moonology out. Y'all hear my Scorpio? She crying at the door, y'all. Look, if I get up and let her in, she don't want to go right back out. And I don't like my door open. All right, y'all. Sorry, I gotta let her in. Deal with it or don't. I don't give a damn. <laughs> what, boo? Come on. Mama love you. Mm-hmm. You hear your sisters at the door, don't try to come out. Uh -uh, cause I ain't getting up again. No, 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 no. I ain't getting up again. Don't sniff nothing. Leave everything alone, babe. Okay, spirit. What's the messages for Taurus? So there's a connection that you're in or was in. Look, three cards came out. Like this is something that I need to get out. Intuition. Somebody needs to listen to their intuition when it comes to y'all's connection. Abundance. It's a very abundant connection. So what the fuck they doing? Face your fears. They need to face their fears. They need to face these damn people that don't want them in, that they don't want them happy. Period point blank. And that's just what it is. I hope this ain't you, Taurus. Boy, girl, we want you. Spirit, what's the message here for Taurus? I'm going to put down one tarot card for each, and I'm going to use other another tarot deck. Okay, Spirit, what's going on here for Taurus? they got some people around them. King of Cups, Ace of Cups, C. Six of Pentacles. Somebody giving to the wrong damn people. Seven of Swords. They sneaky as fuck. The Empress. There's somebody that loves you, Taurus. Like, come the hell on. What? Eight of Wands. Yeah, they want to express this love, but what's blocking them? Ten of Swords. Is it... They sharing with people that want to see them in the Ten of Swords. Like, hell no. Nah. Five of one. All right, Taurus, let me shut up. <laughs> hey, man. Somebody's going to start seeing something from a different perspective if they decide to go on ahead and surrender, okay, and heal away from these people. Look, I told y'all. There's people that's around them. Look, they grieving the loss of you or, you know, the connection. They want this connection so bad, but they're unspiritual attack about people that they think that believe in them and shit. See, uh, see, we ain't doing this. See? Go on in. They're under um this, you know, they may not see a spiritual attack, but Taurus, this person's supposed to be using their intuition. There's abundance in this connection. 
They need to face their fears. Okay, so to face their fears is cold moon. Abundance is domicile moon. And then we have intuition, moon maybe. Taurus, if you're just feeling your gut, something ain't right, it ain't right. If you feel it's good, it's good. Okay, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Listen to your compass, okay? Could be dealing with the Pisces, four wands. Somebody's looking at it from something from a different perspective. They'd rather be in the warm than in the cold. Then the lovers here. This could be your twin flame, soul flame. Y'all know how I do it, Taurus. Look, and here I am, the reader, the third party, trying to figure things out, Taurus, for you. Okay, babe? So here's the message. Okay, let me use a th different tarot deck to clarify these. So, Taurus, we got a lot of Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. We got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and we also got Aries, Leo, Sag. We also have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you, of course, and Libra Energy. Okay, babe? I hope y'all can see those cars, Taurus. I know it's a little far. I know. But, baby, let's go. Let's go, Taurus. Okay. Go, Taurus. Go, Taurus. Okay, look. I don't know why. I feel like this message needs to get out. So, I'm going to post it tomorrow, probably. So, it'll be Wednesday when you guys see this. Wednesday or Friday? It's Wednesday. Y'all will see this. Yeah. Because I got personal readings to do, so I'll put this out. Taurus, what I don't understand is that this person has this cup here, but then there's an ace of cups. This person, Taurus, feels like they don't have much to give you, but they love you. They love you. They're trying to love you from a very, very beautiful space within themselves. But they have people around them, six of pentacles here, that they give to, their energy, time, money, whatever it is, that really don't give a damn about them. Seven of swords. They don't. I think these friends or whoever sees you in this Empress energy and they're jealous. They're jealous and this person wants to communicate their love for you. They want to express things to you. But again, under the Six of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Swords. These are people that want to see this person backstab, betrayed, wants to see them lonely. Five of Wands. They want the five, the Seven of Swords, five, the, ten of, the Ten of Swords, seven, seven of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands. Just don't make no sense to me. And these are people that they share with. They break, they break bread with. Spirit, what's this King of Cups here for the person Taurus is connecting with? Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Wands. Somebody finds you to be a beautiful brand new beginning for them, Taurus, okay? Spirit, what's this King of Cups? Yeah, Seven of Wands. They, they, they want this brand new beginning with you. They want to communicate with you. We got the Seven of Wands, Taurus, with the Ace of Wands. That's Eight Wands. That's right here. Communication. But they feel they need to block this off for some reason. Like, they're not giving you their full self. They need to. What the fuck? I mean, Torres. I don't like, you know. Look, man. Spirit. What's this Ace of Cups energy for Taurus? Yes, Queen of Swords and the Five of Swords. There's individuals, Taurus, that don't want this person. Look, and then together we have the Six of Swords. This person wants to come at you, Taurus. They want to communicate with you, okay? You and this person may not have a stellar conversation. It may be a little bit of arguing. maybe may be a little bit of headbutting. But Five of Swords, they better go on ahead and speak out because they're only deceiving themselves. Five of Swords, when you're right here, willing to speak, okay? If this person just open up and tell you the truth. Queen of Swords energy, just be real about it, okay? You guys being receptive to one another. I think this can go a long way. This could be somebody you're actually literally in a connection with or whatnot, and you're wondering why somebody's always in the mix. <laughs> Ew. Spirit, Six of Pentacles, please. Yes. Like, like Taurus, they want to give to you. Look, the Seven of Swords, again, they want to give this Queen of Cups energy to you, nurturing you and things like that, but the Seven of Swords, they feel they got to come in and deceptive energy because of what other people are saying, other people they give to. Six of Pentacles. It ain't balanced. It ain't fair. It ain't right. Could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio. What's this Seven of Swords here, Spirit, for Taurus? Six of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. This person needs to quit giving to you some other efforts, okay? Quit, quit breadcrumbing you and go towards what they really want. They're Nine of Pentacles. Being away from these people. Being separated from them. Nine of Pentacles to me is also that energy of separation. You have three cups. Reunite with you instead of these punk ass friends or people, whoever this is. Somebody's trying to get in the way. They're, they're talking too much. Spirit, what's the Empress energy here? Yep, Nine of Wands and the Five of Cups. This person's definitely sad. They want to fight for this. 
Okay, they want to fight for this Taurus, all right? No matter what you're feeling, no matter what this person's telling you or what other people are telling you, don't listen. If y'all got mutual friends, do not listen to shit they have to say. They're the ops. Out the gate. They do not want you and this person together. I'm telling you, this person's prideful energy always goes towards people that is next feel Netflix and chill type of energy and they fail in dating because they have people that need to forgive and leave the fuck alone because they leave them in the street they leave them you know living beyond their means and things like that they they want to impress these people but this person your person needs to forgive these people and move away from them period point blank spirit what's this eight of wands yep page of wands and the eight of, ooh. look see let look, look Taurus that's funny because none of these cards is in the reverse Page of Wands in the upright and the Will of Fortune in the reverse, Taurus. This person is acting very immature, communicating very immature, and they feel stuck like they can't come to, towards you. The will's not turning in their favor to come towards you. Again, failure's at the top here, dating. This is what those people that they so-called love or the people they think how they back, this is where it gets them. They get nothing across. They get no communication across whatsoever about anything serious with anybody because they got people around them that are hating, okay? Hating, hating, hating. Spirit, Ten of Cups, please. What's this Ten of... No, Ten of Swords. Oh, Taurus. Ten of Cups here. I think you won the Ten of Cups with this person you're dealing with right now. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. What's the Ten of Swords, Spirit? Thank you. The Moon. And the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Taurus, this person really has a lot of deep feelings for you, but they keep them hidden and they keep their emotions suppressed. Ace of Cups. Ten of Swords. And it pains them very bad. Because the people that they around, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, with the Queen of Cups, they can't, they can't come towards you and nurture you. Okay? They can't come towards you and give you anything. They keep secrets from you. I don't even think this person wants you to know that they have people that don't approve of the connection. Spirit, Five of Wands. The Magician in the reverse and the Knight of Swords in the reverse. These are people that lack empathy. They lack sus substance. They lack um, stability. They don't want to be established. They're all over the place. They're very untrustworthy, manipulative-ass people. Okay? Five of Wands. And they're always fighting with each other. So I don't even understand how they would consider this even a friendship at all. I don't even understand how they consider that. I don't. But there's individuals, Taurus, there's somebody that you're dealing with right now that has people in the middle of y'all's of y'all's business. And they need to stay the hell out of it. Spirit, give me something for that Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. What's this Wheel of Fortune in the reverse with the Eight of Pentacles and Eight of Wands in the upright? Ten of Pentacles. They want to communicate with you, Taurus, but they feel stuck. The wheel's not turning. They want a family with you. They want things with you, Taurus, that would mean a lot to you, that I think would make you feel beautiful. Okay? Six of Pentacles, Spirit, with the Queen of cups here in the seven of swords king of pentacles look at this this person wants to be in this energy where they're stable enough to provide for you and things like that but they keep giving this person's always dependent people are dependent upon this person spirit seven of swords with the six of pentacles and the nine of pentacles the eight of pentacles this person wants to put in work taurus they want to put in work but instead they got people putting work on their ass six of pentacles nine of pentacles and eight of pentacles so these individuals taurus here Want this actual person to actually keep giving to them sneakingly while making sure that they stay single from you at Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, but put work in where they're at. Someone's afraid of you taking them. They, they have friends or something afraid of you taking them away from them. They can't let this abundance in. Yeah, Two of Wands. This person is going to move away anyway. Okay? They're going to move away from these people anyway. <laughs> Wish not granted, okay? Empress here, spirit with the nine of wands and the five of cups. They feel so depressed. Four of wands here. Aries Leo, Aries Leo Sag energy, okay? So, Taurus, what you have here is somebody that really, truly sees you as their end-all, be-all. Nine of wands. They still want to fight for you, but they're in so much regret, Taurus, because they feel that they can give you more. And they're stopping themselves here with the seven of wands. They're blocking out their love to impress other people. And what's going to happen is this person's going to end up failing with this. They're going to fail in connections and everything that's going to happen in their life because the people they have around them. Spirit, the Eight of Wands, okay? Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, and the Will of Fortune reverse the Ten of Pentacles. What's that? The Nine of Cups. They have sim oh, a simple wish, Taurus. This person could be drinking so much because they really want to be around you. But they can be. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. 
We have Ten of Swords here, Taurus, with the Moon card and the Ace of Cups in reverse. This person doesn't want you to see them hurting. They're hurting because they're suppressing their emotions for you and they're keeping a lot of secrets, things you don't know about. Eight of Swords, clarifying that. Eight of Swords, all in their head about the situation. God dang, Taurus, this person doesn't deserve this. They, they don't. They have to speak up or everything in their life is going to fail for them. And, of course, Spirit wants them to forgive them for them. You know, this person gets put out the cold a lot with these people, but they want to impress them so badly. And the Seven of Swords is right up underneath that. <laughs> They're sneaky as fuck. We got the Five of Wands here, Taurus, with the Magician in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse. These people are so full of illusions. It's ridiculous. Clarifying that is a higher fit in the reverse. Okay, these individuals do not want this person being faithful to you, though, Taurus, that is their wish. Okay, the star Aquarius energy here. They don't want this person being faithful to you. The higher fit in the reverse. For some of you, you have somebody that you were married to, and it's because of the people that were around them caused a divorce here. They were in their ear. This person or people need to surrender. This person needs to surrender to the universe and, and go on ahead and, and heal themselves and leave these friendships behind. Let them grieve. They need to grieve these these connections because all these people do is bring them into this doubting energy, okay? And it makes them lack empathy when they should have empathy for you. It's a challenge for them, but they can fucking do it. They can. So whoever's hearing this message right now, you can do it. You can get away from these people. Don't let anybody tell you no different. What the fuck? You gonna let people lie to you? Spirit, what's Spirits, uh, spirit, what's your um, advice for Taurus with the situation? Three of Wands, Taurus. Look towards the future. Look towards the future, Taurus, the high priestess. Stay, stay quiet. Stay quiet. This person will have to grow the fuck up and come towards you and let go of these old minions, whatever the fuck they are. Because they definitely don't want best for the person that's connected to you. They don't. But this person has to see it for themselves, Spirit, saying, yeah... Mm -hmm. They have to see for themselves. We have five of pentacles in the reverse, Taurus. You're not in the cold, despite what you may feel. You're not in the cold. The actual person that's in the cold is this individual allowing others to run them. Okay? Two of cups at the bottom of the deck. There is new love coming in. I'm also getting here with the eight of cups, Taurus. Walk away from any energy that just does not match your cup. Okay? Seven of pentacles. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself, even though this hurt. Investing yourself is teaching you a lesson, okay? And you're going to see that lesson. You may not see it right this minute, but you'll see this lesson. It's like a connection towards that could have been so beautiful, but it failed because they got people around them that make them feel prideful and that want them to Netflix, Netflix and chill with random weirdos and stuff. It keeps them stuck thinking about you, though. That's what it does. The lovers. And here I am, the reader, all right? Because some of you might be confused to a source about what to do or what's going on. Eight of Cups, walk away. Walk away. This person will eventually get bored with this bullshit. They'll be tired of being stuck in their motherfucking head. And then before you know it, you'll get a message. Eight of Wands. Before you know it, you'll get a message. You will. This person's silly. I just don't know. Okay. I, I guess I guess it's just me. I just don't know how people can let people do this to them. <laughs> I would be able to read. I would be able to see this shit. Like, what? Who are you hating on? Like, oh, I see. Because I got the baddest in town. And you don't like it. You don't want that for me because y'all know I'm a disconnect from you in some way, shape, or form. In some shape or form, I almost ran out of breath. But in reality, what it is, is that I need to look towards the future. Stop talking to you motherfuckers. And I need to get myself up out of this energy being around y'all. Because y'all leave me in the cold. When I'm around Taurus, I'm not in the cold. I don't feel like I'm in the cold. I feel like I'm being warmed. I feel like I'm being loved. I'm cherished. Spirit, closing out messages for Taurus, please. That's some bullshit. I'm going to tell you now, Taurus. I'm, I'm not very happy about this reading. Well, the message itself. You know, it's just shysty. Okay. Yeah, Taurus, you got somebody confused as to why, Taurus, you're still encouraged to what? To probably move forward without them. You're still encouraged. They're confused why you're still encouraged. And they, okay, was resistant to this connection, Okay. Because they let people disappoint them. They disappointed themselves as well. And you're peaceful. <laughs> okay. I guess that makes sense. Whatever. Yep. Discouraged. Why are they discouraged when you're encouraged? They're confused. Why are you at peace when they're in this disappointed energy? Why are you not speaking? Why are you looking towards the future? 
Why are you not in the cold like I thought you would be? So this person may have wanted to go back and tell these friends or people, these toxic individuals, well, Taurus chased after me, Taurus did this, Taurus did that. Taurus didn't do a motherfucking thing. You a motherfucking lie. Your ass is too damn corny and too damn soft as soft serve ice cream to stand the fuck up to these people and be with somebody that you know and your intuition is your abundance. You need to face your fears of trying to please every damn body. Okay? The fool. It's time for you to take that damn leap of faith. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Don't even answer that, because I don't even need to know. I know that it's silly, and you will regret this, whoever this is for. You will be stuck thinking about this four of wands and this lover's energy, which you could have had, woulda, coulda, shoulda, okay? And me being the reader, I'm telling you right now, all right? I'm telling you right now. The message is here. <clears throat> You're going to be all right, Taurus, no matter what. You're going to be at peace. You're going to be encouraged to keep moving forward. Letting this go, it's going to help you heal. Huh. This person's going to deal with karma. That's what they're going to deal with. Because these people around them mean them no good. Ugh. Yep, King of Cups. Because they love you. King of Cups is here twice. <sighs> Whatever. Do your thing, then. Be in this energy of being lonely, depressed, and ashamed, and feeling guilty. Because you're letting go of the love of your life. Or what people have to say, good luck with that. Taurus, keep trusting in yourself, baby. Keep appreciating yourself. Know your value. Be proud of your successful self moving forward. Okay? Listen to your intuition, Taurus. And always know that you are the best that you could ever be for someone. You did everything you could to make this person see your value. And because they got people chirp, chirp in their ear, does not mean it's your business. That's them. They want to take a loss. Okay? If they want to take a loss and you, buy, and you be a boss, then that's on them. Okay, Taurus, don't feel rejected, don't feel helpless, and don't submit to no bullshit because they have friends and things in their ear. If they can't get rid of these little mice that keep eating up their damn cheese, then that's going to be on them. The exterminator is a damn self, and they don't even know how to use a damn... They don't even know how to use... It's like this motherfucker... They got the whole package, Taurus. They could be the whole package. Y'all could be the whole package, except they come with no items because they let everybody else around them, Six of Pentacles, take from them, and they leave them disappointed. But they stay in that energy, knowing damn well they want to take a leap of faith towards you and they love you. Okay, make it make sense. No, it's okay, you don't, I see it. Taurus, let them stay mad, let them stay whatever, Taurus. You stay optimistic, you stay hopeful, and you stay in your power and be at your peace. Things will unfold naturally as they need to. Okay, for real. This was a straight up message today. It really was. Okay, shit. Taurus, I love you guys to the moon and back. Crosswatchers, you too. People that don't like me, you too. I am giving personal readings down in the description box. Taurus, take good care of yourselves, all right, babe? And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Have a good day. Bye-bye.